this fly is called a muddled spratly. It's a hybrid between a dock spratly, which is a popular pattern in the Pacific Northwest, and a muddler minnow. The hook is a partridge barbless ideal nymph in a size 10. The thread is uni thread, 8 0 in black. And simply attach it just back of the eye, run it down a little way. Then tie in the ribbing material, which is a fine gold flash. And run it to the end of the shank, keeping the, the flash underneath the shank. For the tail, here's a grizzly hackle and take a few of the barbs. This is overall a rather a sparsely tied fly, which is reflected in each of the components. Length of the tail is about three quarters of the shank. I hold it slightly towards me and allow the torque to run it on top. Then tie it down. Run the thread back. For the body, be some uh, black dubbing. Fairly coarse. I'm using uh, a seal's fur imitation or substitute. It's mostly wool and tie a fairly slender body. Add a little bit more, but not too much. We need a reasonable amount of space to do the, the wing and the head. I'm tapering it down slightly so that the wing, which will be tied in later, does not get pushed up too much. Then rib with the gold flash. Tie it off, trim away the waist. The underwing it's uh, the center tail from a cock pheasant. Take a few of the barbs and pull them perpendicular. To even the tips. Length is about halfway into the tail. On top of that, there's a tiny, tiny amount of tan UV iced up. Just to give a tiny bit of sparkle. Tie this in on top. And then fold it back. Lock it down. The last material on will be deer hair. It will be used both as an overwing and to form the head. I shall clip away a small amount of hair from a, a patch here. So 
stroke out some of the under fur. Length is just slightly shorter than the uh, than the pheasant. The butt ends get folded back. and form the start of the, the head. Clip away some more deer hair. Trim away the tips we don't want. Then two loose turns and then tighten to allow it to spin. We don't want too dense a head, so this will be way ample and most of it will indeed get trimmed away. Return whip finish to complete. Then the barber job will start. Trim it fairly short underneath and leave slightly longer strands running along the sides and the top. not to be a very neatly trimmed head. I, I like to have a bit of structure, but still a fairly hairy and light appearance to the entire fly. Clip some of the longer strands of the UV iced up away. And that completes a muddled Spradley.